When I review a product, it is usually all about the texture, scent and feel it has. If I do review something like the Beauty of Joseon Relief Sunrise Plus Probiotics SPF 50 PA++++, though, the thing that you guys are most interested in is, is the claimed SPF 50 plus a real thing? Well, I wanted to know that too, so I reached out to the brand and they very kindly sent over their testing results. More on that later. If you're new here, welcome! I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotics SPF 50 Plus is our new chemical sunscreen that applies gently on the skin and by also including skin calming and brightening ingredients, it allows sensitive skin types to use it with ease as well. The texture is the one of the most beautiful, elegant, hydrating, yet non-greasy cream you can imagine, and there is absolutely no scent to the product. Sunscreen goes on as the last step in your morning routine, and if your skin is more on the normal to oily side, this SPF will probably be enough on its own without the need of a dedicated moisturizer. Applying the recommended amount is no problem, as it sinks in completely, it never did pill on me, and it is comfortable for reapplying throughout the day as well. Yes, it adds more dew to the skin, that I personally like, but you need to keep in mind that I grew up in the 80s when matte skin was all the rage. You lot with your fable for glow will most likely love it. Don't be fooled, if you really apply it liberally, it will take up to a minute until it is fully sink in, but after that, no stickiness, no film, just plump and hydrated skin. The main UV filters used are Uvinul A Plus and Tinozob S, and to support the skin calming and brightening claims, you will find niacinamide several fermented ingredients and plant extracts like green tea and ginseng root extract, all things often found in Korean beauty products. Glycerin is used as the main humectant. Uvinul A Plus and Tinozov S are modern chemical filters that provide broad spectrum protection. The first thing I do when testing a new sunscreen is that I go to the BSF sunscreen calculator and see how the filters used perform on a very basic level. When doing that, both filters don't add up to SPF 50, but instead get to around 36, but with amazing UVA protection. As the filters used don't tell you the whole story, the formulation plays a huge role too, this is only half of the story. Beauty of Joseon uses Dibotyl Adipart, for example, an emollient working especially well in helping to solubilize UV filters, which might have an effect on the protection reached by the finished formula. The next thing I did was reach out to the brand and ask about their testing methods, and here is what I learned. This sunscreen was tested in two different labs, one in Korea and once in Spain. That alone is reassuring, as sunscreen testing is complicated and the more test results you get, the better your chance to get it right. The SPF testing in Spain was done in summer 2021 according to standard ISO 24444 and Cosmetics Europe Guidelines 2006, which means in vivo testing on healthy volunteers and suggests an SPF of 36.1 plus minus 0.6. Now two on three tests and there are still some room for error, but I feel comfortable about having adequate sun protection when wearing it, especially as the texture makes it easy to apply a generous amount. Just remember, putting on SPF is always only part of sun's melt behavior and never an excuse to spend hours in the midday sun. I already have two more tubes of the sunscreen stacked up that will see me through early spring and depending how quickly it will heat up here early summer as well. While very oily skins might find it too hydrating, I think everyone else will love this formula as much as I do and the carefully chosen filters make it a great option even for sensitive skins usually reacting to chemical sunscreens. If there's anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I'm going to link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen now, and the links to my Instagram, blog, and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon, bye!